Now I wonder what these two are too. This is interesting. I like the music that was used. Let's see what they have to. The code of the night is an ideal of honor that emphasizes on the concept of bravery, loyalty, and generosity. Uh -huh. Over the generations, the idea of the night usually stays with this code. It can no, version hey, of more than I. But some might take the idea and give it a magical twist, while devoting to save and or protect the ones they care for most. Uh -huh. Like Shovel Knight. I have a blush. Of and Urza Scarlet. Fairy tales as class night fair. Huh. And it's our job to analyze these characters to their fullest, going through their feats and faults, see what happens when these two fictional characters collide. Our tale begins with a duel of knights hmm. who go across the land, gathering witches. I already played a show in that game, I and I completed it too. Where nothing bad can truly happen. But here it comes. But during the last adventure, the one known as Steel Knight was getting close to this great end, like in the collapse of a tower, leading to her death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. But after never being able to find her for a while and the tower closed up, the other knight sat down yeah. their weapon and basically went to do whatever, I guess. Looks like farming, I don't care. Gardening. Up the ways of adventure. But that's when the beings known as the Order of No Quarter appear across the land, led by a That sounds like a weird name. Stating they will take over the land for themselves and a new era of darkness will begin. So the knight in blue picks up yeah. his weapon and sends off to save the day and hopefully gain answers to his lost knight love disappearance. Meaning back to the legend of hmm. the Shovel Knight. Okay, he might look yeah. a little bit dorky, but don't touch this armored shovel back. I mean, he is an in... He's packing a lot to save the land from these knights. He does so with his all trusty shovel blade in his hand. Yeah. I like that shovel. He even wanted to battle against Shante. On DBS. Yeah, but they lost against Scrooge the Duck. But his shovel isn't the only thing this guy has. Over his adventure, Shovel Knight has gained quite the arsenal of mm -hmm. fighting with the flare wand, he can shoot fireballs at his enemies. The chaos spears do bouncy, piercing damage, and if he needs to get somewhere far, hey, he chaos the spear! Ball, yeah, that's small like Shadow the Hedgehog's chaos the spear. For transport, also has a long range attack. The throwing anchor can be used for hard to reach enemies by Shell Knight tossing a literal anchor at them. For my all time favorite, the powerful War Horde. With this bad boy, yeah. the second Shell blows into it, does massive area damage, killing all the real enemies uh -huh. like so. Wait, 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 no. <laughs> there he goes. But that's not all he has on him. During his travels, he has gotten multiple different sets of armors and all variety of different abilities. With stuff like Conjurer's Cloak, he gains more use of magic in total. Mail of Momentum makes sure he isn't knocked back as hard from attacks. Yeah. And then there's the beautiful ornate plate, which is just very beautiful. Look at him. No, this is like golden. He's just flipping around. He doesn't get show when I lost world. a rap belt from Mega Man. The armor of chaos to stop from Kratos, the god of fucking war. Yeah, I'm not making that shit up. With this, then he gets something similar to the blades of chaos that does both the attacking combos, fish shovel, yeah, and over the useful Kratos. It makes all forms of magical orbs that come to him. Nice touch. And lastly, he gets the toe gear from the battle toes. You know battle toes? Man, this guy had a lot of crossovers. But then he gets a multi hit combo, but just like the toes, his body can change like when he rams the horns, turns into a familiar ram horn. Or how you can oh, this is Shovel Knight we're talking about. I guess if you have enough cash, you can make anyone appear in your games for exposure, huh? True. I took note of that, actually. Does it help? He's basically everywhere. I mean, look at all these cameos. This is just a bit obsessive, man. Really, eh, who can't can obsess with obsessive? Who can't? I mean, who doesn't like crossovers? More cameos. Kinda needs it since this guy loves overusing his already pretty limited magic bolt for his much better relics. And with this massive yeah. bolt, it's no surprise the stuff this small knight. I mean, it's an adventure. This guy is taking out dragons, giant mechs, the entire order of North Order, and even survived a small meteor coming at him during Black Knight's weird winged fight. 
He would have took the meter to come right after Black Knight lifted a show wow. around two seconds at most, and given the size he compared to Shell Knight's five foot five size, yeah. you figure out this meter is around nine point five feet long. Now, giving the benefit of the doubt that the meteor is a full meteor and not a small piece of one, this means yeah. Shovel Knight can take a hit around nearly 95 kiloton. That's enough to destroy a whole town on its own, and Shovel Knight was tanking them like that. Wow. Funny enough, Shovel Knight can also dodge them. Why did Nazo only took out of town? Numbers, this means he's moving at around 99,763 meters per second, hitting massively hypersonic. Which isn't so hypersonic, huh? Dodge cannonball fire and fight things like the bubble pads himself. I haven't looked at that man so majestic. Yeah, he's a big crybaby. He's got to cause a lightning to him as the way of attacking, and even Phantom Striker, who's not just able to turn into, but also fireballs of lightning. So who cares if the little guy isn't the brightest and has a highly limited small amount of magic, and like any Shovel Knight player who loves to spend their items to waste it. It's kind of why he has to the chalice to fully pull it. But after all of this, he met up with the Enchantress and defeated her. Yeah. But too bad also summon I also lost against the hollow knight. Shield knight herself influenced by dark magic. And after getting out of that castle and he laid down wildfire, Shell Knight was finally reunited with his love once again. Ready to sit by the fire like good old times. Yep. Don't underestimate this shovel knight. Ah, <laughs> you ended there? I like that guy. Now let's see how our stacks are. Got a whole lot of fan service. But in the yeah. southern coast of Magnolia Town, a house once special feel known as the Fairy Tale Guild. Among them mm -hmm. lie many, many members of high status. You might remember a few of them, like Not Too Dragon Hill or Grateful Buster. Were they on the show way before I was even here? We don't talk about that area here. Oh, yeah, I just saw them on the show. Now, deep within a nice town called Rosemary Village, nothing seems to really affect them. Place of peace. I guess now it's Earth's turn. And it looks like a bunch of crazy people are attacking the village, capturing all the kids, and make a giant machine. Yeah, who can see people. that coming? Now, there was only one rebellious new slave out there, and her name was Urza. So the people did the most reasonable thing. They basically butchered one of her eyes as punishment. After an experience like that, she met a fellow kid named yeah. Jalal, who then befriended her, and even gave her a last name, Scarlet, just like her scarlet red hair. Mm hmm. And right after escaping a loser, hey, no colors. she soon found herself in the fairy tale guild, meeting up with some certain people we talked about before. Becoming yeah. the X-ring armored magic user herself, Ursa Scarlet. Now, as a member of the fairy tale guild, she needed a form of magic. Yeah, she is pretty she strong. Is she is strong. Different based on the person. Some can make ice, fire, change their physical appearance, or even summon fighters mm -hmm. to aid them in battle. But Ursa goes with my favorite, being the re-equipped magic. More yeah. specifically, the knight version. But she can conjure up basically anything she wants from a magical armor, sword, spears, axes, mm -hmm. you name it. And this is her, even her most iconic use of re equipped magic. Urza is one of the very few who can conjure up different armors at any time for situations, vastly changing her based on the armor. My personal favorite is the most yeah. basic of armors, the Heart's Quartz armor. Her, yeah, her. But then her actual crazy stuff is like her Heaven Wheel armor, which gives her flight and can summon raining swords. Black Wing armor. Yeah. Makes Look like Dragon and even Peter Wings. Okay, I mean, her equipment is really awesome. It's good arsenal. Awesome. ...these certain elements and can help her be semi-immune to these elements as well. And then, Demon's actual favorite, the giantess armor. Whoa, 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 I have no idea what yeah. you mean. Uh, I think I know what he means. Uh-huh. With this, she grows to great size and can hold this giant spear. Then there's her adamantine armor. It's basically a spiky purple defense. And Purgatory just looks cool, I guess. On yeah. the door of Fairy Man, I want other opinions. We'll get back to that. With this, she can shoot magical energy blasts from the sword and looks very yeah. cool. The clear of Heart's clothing strips her down greatly, which cuts down her defense for benefit of maximum power. That is her once. strongest form. Then there's the seduction of... Uh, 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 oh. Just ignore it. Yeah, this is the fan service stuff we're talking about. And while she has a couple of other miscellaneous armors, the best one to that is her magic cutting Nakagami armor. Like I said, this armor along with its what? armor table can dispatch other magical abilities and attacks. Also, it's just. Oh, well, yeah, I remember! Oh, yeah, I remember Fairy Tail has a video game. Uh, yeah, um, I, um, uh, uh, quite so. Uh, 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 u
but to time she was able to slice a bullet point blank or to scale to one of her usual punching bags, Natsu Dragnil used <laughs> Blaxus's own literal lightning attacks. Two for the Mendes episode who can summon lightning. What a coincidence, actually. But she really mm. isn't a speedster character. Her show focuses on her extreme might. I like a speedster character like Sonic. Like this one time after being fully completed. Which is better lost again a one piece character. Now given that the meteor is around 148 feet, which would make it about 283 pounds, first to fully decimate a meter that grand would be the equivalent of around hmm. 93 kilotons of TNT. And that's a short town. But remember this the, why is how why does that remind me of another kiloton? What she has done like her fight against Urza Nightwalker, another universe version of herself. Trust me, it's a lot less screwed with context. When they collided, they caused this large island to explode. If we take this as size of a usual island, which would make this explosion near four gigatons of Whoa. TNT, and Urza was one of the people in the middle of it. But even all that armor does have a heat crack. Like I've yeah. seen a lot of fine item metal magic hits from the Even though this has got me some weak points. Of and, so. off, and she has a hand for going down to something like a pure heart clothing to lower her usual defense. We still have to yeah. be nuts to go against the fairy tale guild's own fairy queen. She will do anything for her fans, no matter what, even if it means you aren't even yeah. fight alive. If you truly desire oh, I heard that scene. Know what makes you weak. And more importantly, live with an open heart. Okay, like a I wonder what happens now to see they fight. So the nice day that Urza's brave, will Urza get a fairy tale ending? Time for these two fictional characters to collide. Hey, Shyamalan. Oh, and there's Ursa. Sorry, so that looks like Earth that takes the win. Well, you could say that was a split decision there if you get what I mean. These two magical knights were impressive, especially yeah. at the start. Comparing both Shovel Knights and Urza's meteor feats only, Shovel Knight barely edges out with a 1.1 time strength difference, and both can yeah. easily scale to beings who can dodge or make lightning, giving them both are around similar levels of movement and reaction capabilities. And given Shovel Knight was trained in his style of fighting while Urza was mainly just self talk the Knight of Chivalry could have won if this was all that was needed. But yeah. Of course, the debate. Like, remember, that meteor key was Urza at a weakened state. So what was her max we could do realistically? Well, let's go back to that 4 gigaton key. This would make her 100 times stronger than the 4 blue armored knight. Yeah. And let's not forget their magic pool. While both do have a finite amount, Urza is usually a lot more cautious with it and uses it for more tactical yeah. advantages over her opponent. Knight. Yeah, I like to spend it all. Also, watch that I partial and super crossover here is black. I like that kind of like being in a toy store. Really, that Nakagami armor of DJ was basically just back all of Shovel Knight's trinkets at the start. And that's what yeah. the armor is built for. So all she has to do is get that bad boy on, and Shovel Knight is stuck with a lot of useless junk. Yeah, his hmm. Battle's armor and the others aren't magic needed, but it's stuff like a face amulet. He is. Yeah. Sorry, Shovel, Shovel Knight. Looks like Earth wins. Definitely hold their own for a short while at the start. You just couldn't 
match the S class mage's more destructive power, unusable oh. defense, magic stuff, and armor, and much larger and longer lasting for magic. You could say that he came up a bit short. Oh, Archer, give the guy a break. Other Urza decided to meet him halfway. The winner is Urza Star. Ooh. Oh, I know that. Doomsday. The, the monster who killed Superman and won against Hulk. Ooh. And Apocalypse, the one who stopped who killed. Won and lost to Black Adam. That will be an interesting battle to watch. Anyway, subscribe to S F F C C or otherwise known as Arch. I think Anchor and Archer, I don't remember. But anyway, subscribe to this person's channel for more of their vid videos. Because this was an awesome battle. Oh, it's even now I remember. Anyways, see you next time.